smart. Box smart. Winners play smart. Why is concussion prevention important? Concussion is a brain injury which should be identified, treated and managed correctly. Failure to do so can potentially have serious consequences. Reducing the incidence or rate of concussion is important for rugby players' health, well-being and ongoing participation in the game. Considering there are two teams of 15 players on the field, having frequent high-speed, high-impact collisions and within an ever-changing environment, it becomes very difficult to control the safety aspects of all contact situations between players. As such, concussions will never be completely prevented. That is why recognizing and removing is so essential for player well-being. Go to the BoxSmart website and revisit some of the previous material in this regard. Equally important to preventing primary concussions is a secondary prevention strategy. That is, to avoid further concussions in a player who has already had a concussive head injury. A number of important intervention strategies may help reduce the chance, rate and recurrence of concussions. The cornerstone of concussion prevention is educate, enforce, enhance, equip and evaluate, collectively referred to as the five E's. Educate. The more you know about concussion, the more you can do to prevent the serious consequences of concussions. Recognizing concussion and educating yourself are currently the best tools to prevent concussions. Learn how to identify a concussed player. Identify those situations which may place players at potential risk of concussions. Follow best practice principles in managing concussions. Use the freely available BoxSmart Concussion Guides and website and the other additional free resources available in your club or school. Go online to the World Rugby Player Welfare site and take yourself through their concussion education modules. Enforce. Play strictly by the laws of the game of rugby union. Do not allow dangerous tackles and players flying in or diving recklessly into rucks. Ensure that all coaches and referees are BoxSmart certified at all times and carry their BoxSmart concussion guides with them enforce the medical assessments, stand down periods and mandated graduated return to play protocol on all of your players who have suspected or confirmed concussions. Enhance. Work only on safe and effective tackling techniques. Do this often. Head up into contact reduces the moment of inertia and impact forces and can reduce the risk of concussions. Perfecting tackle technique is crucial for preventing concussions. Tackle technique is often not good in younger developing rugby players and still requires a lot of coaching and individual practice. Regular practicing of safe and effective tackling techniques should therefore start at a young age so that it eventually becomes instinctive later on. Concussion rates also increase as the game time progresses and fatigue worsens tackle technique. Essentially, the fitter you are for rugby, the easier it is to maintain a good tackle technique and thereby reduce the risk of getting concussed. It is also important to occasionally practice tackling under fatigued conditions to reinforce safer tackling techniques under these circumstances. Strengthen the neck. This should be done throughout the year. Practice and coach safe rucking techniques and principles 
especially for those players already in the ruck. Equip. Although mouth guards do not prevent concussion, players should use them to prevent injuries to teeth, gums and the tongue. It is preferable to have a mouth guard fitted by a dentist. The use of rugby headgear may help reduce friction injuries to the ears and cuts to the scalp, but they do not prevent concussions. There is currently no rugby equipment that reduces concussion, but rules and legislation can lower this risk. Evaluate. Ensure that your school or club has a concussion policy and action plan in place for suspecting, identifying, treating and managing concussions. Those who do not have a concussion policy or plan will be less likely to recognize and remove players with suspected concussions and will certainly not manage them properly. Reassess this policy at the end of every season and align it with the updated BoxSmart protocols. For this plan to be successful, it is important to establish an internal concussion register for each team at your club or school and to have someone accurately track and monitor the concussed players throughout their recovery process. Suggested timelines to be recorded for each concussed player. Name of the player, coach of the team, team played for, and the age of the player. The date of suspected or confirmed concussion. The date of medical assessment to rule out any complications, including the name of the medical doctor and whether they cleared the player or not. Confirmed rest recovery period utilized based on the player's age group. Date of medical clearance received to enter the rugby specific graduated return to play process. Date of completion of the rugby specific graduated return to play process with the player showing no signs and symptoms remaining. Date of official return to full match play. This process ensures that you as a club or school are following best practice principles in managing your concussed players and that you are providing the standard duty of care expected of you. It also protects you if something happens to the player further down the line. Every four years, the world's leading experts in concussion get together, debate and discuss the available scientific literature, and then compile the sporting world's consensus statement for the current best practice methods of identification, treatment, and management of concussion. This then sets the international standard for the next four years. Heads up, prevent concussion. Go to boxsmart.com forward slash concussion and bring yourself up to speed on what is new and what is relevant in concussion management in rugby. The latest information in line with the 2016 Berlin Consensus Conference and loads more information on being smarter and managing concussion will be posted here.